In this section, you have to answer 15 verbal reasoning questions, which will test your skills of comprehension, grammar and logic. Select the answer that you think is correct and mark its letter from A to E on your answer sheet. Use the space provided with each question for workings. 45. Alfie, Brenda, Charlie, Debbie and Eric each have a £5 note. They go shopping and each buy one item. They all receive change in only 50p and or £1 coins. Alfie has £3.50 and Brenda has the same number of coins. Charlie has the most amount of money but no 50p coins. Debbie has half the number of coins that Eric has and at least one of each coin. They have exactly nine £1 coins between them. All the coins could be shared so that everyone receives the same amount of money. Who has the greatest number of 50p coins in their change? Let's begin by looking at the end of the question which says that all of the coins could be shared so that everyone receives the same amount of money. We know that the group started with a total of £25. There are five of them and they each had a £5 note, but they've all spent some of that money. This means that the highest total the group could have left would be £22.50. Remember, we need to be able to share the amount of money which is left between five of them. The next lowest amount would be £20. This would mean they'd each receive £4. We could also have £17.50. I'm taking away groups of five 50 pence coins each time. They could also have £15. They could also have £12.50 or they could have £10. This is the lowest amount of money they could have because we know that they have exactly nine £1 coins between them. So the amount of money which is left at the end of the question will be one of the amounts we can see here. Now let's start with Alfie who has £3.50. So we can say Alfie has a total of £3.50. Brenda has the same number of coins as Alfie, but at the moment we don't know what that is. We also know that Charlie has the most amount of money, but no 50p coins. So this means that Charlie must have £4. If Charlie has the most money, he must have £4 because we know Alfie has £3.50. Because Charlie has no 50 pence coins, £4 is the highest amount of money he can have. Next, we're told about Debbie. Debbie has half the number of coins that Eric has and at least one of each coin. So if we think about Debbie, Debbie must have, first of all, at least one one pound coin and one 50 pence coin, which means, of course, that Eric would have double the number of coins. But we don't know what those coins are at this stage. Next, let's start allocating some of those nine one pound coins. We know that Charlie has four of those £1 coins and we know that Debbie has one of them. Because there are exactly nine, that means there are a further four to allocate amongst the remaining three people. Remember, some of them may not have any pound coins at all. If we said that Alfie had three of the pound coins, this would mean that he would have a one pound coin, another one pound coin and another one pound coin, meaning he would also have 50p. Brenda has the same amount of coins as Alfie. So if she has the remaining one pound, remember we only have nine of them to allocate, then the remaining amount of her money must be made from 50p's. She has the same number of coins as Alfie, so she would have to have four coins and that means she would have a total of £2.50. Remember, we're looking to make one of these amounts of money. So far, we have £3.50 plus £2.50, which is £6, plus a further £4, which is £10. And we have £1.50 for Debbie, but of course she might have more money than this. She could have some more 50 pence coins, perhaps. She can't have any more pound coins because we've allocated all of those so far. So if we add Debbie's money into the amount, we have £11.50. But remember, we're looking to make one of these amounts, so that means we need a minimum of £12.50. 
However, if I add another 50 pence to Debbie's total, it means that she would now have two pounds and we know that she has half the number of coins that Eric has. This means, of course, that Eric must have six coins. He has double the number of coins that Debbie has. All of those coins will have to be 50 p's because we have no pound coins left to allocate. This gives Eric a total of three pounds. If we now add all of those amounts together, £3.50 plus £2.50 is £6. A further £4 gives £10. A further £5 gives £15. And we know that that's one of the amounts of money. If we share the coins out, each person would receive £3 as there is £15 altogether. So, we now need to know who has the greatest number of 50p coins in their change. As you can see, Eric has six 50p coins and this is more than anybody else. So, C was therefore the right answer to this question. And you can show the answer of C on the answer paper like this.